Dr. McQueely and her robot Handy. This is Dr. McQueely's garage. Her robot Handy meets all the cars now. Handy, would you like to fix the car yourself? Well, you can try then. But know that Dr. McQueely is always there. She is waiting if you need her help. Oh, it's time to help. Handy, did you take everything apart? Why are you so sad then? You don't know how to assemble it again? No problem, you will learn. Just do what I say please, okay? First attach the wheel plate to the frame. Now attach the engine right here. Yes, you're doing well. Take the brake pads. One goes here and one on the rear wheel. And now you can put the wheels on. Do you want to do it yourself? That's right. Good job. Lower the body. Now put the doors in place. And the hood. That's it. Lower the car. Now let's check how it drives. Everything works. Will you fix it yourself next time? Don't worry Handy. Dr. McWheely will always be there. Dr. McWheely and the tow truck. Look, it's a tow truck. He carries broken vehicles to garages. He can even carry a tractor. Oh, this tractor is too heavy. Tow truck has broken down. Come down, tractor. The tow truck needs to call Dr. McQueely quickly. Don't worry, tow truck. Dr. McQueely will come soon.
but first she needs to collect her tools. Dr. McQueely puts them in a special belt. A tape measure, pliers, a file, a hammer, a wheel spanner, a ratchet key, a spanner, a screwdriver and a pen to write with. All the other tools are here in this box. All ready? We can go! Now we'll repair the tow truck. Hi tow truck! Now we're going to fix you. First let's see what has happened. I see we need to remove the wheel. To do this, let's jack up the vehicle. Excellent! Here is the problem. The spring is broken. This part allows the vehicle to go over any potholes gently. Let's take off the broken spring. And put on a new one. And put the wheel in place. Tow truck, we fixed you. But remember, you shouldn't lift things that are too heavy. It's dangerous. Dr. McQueely, thank you for the advice. Dr. McQueely and the bridge. Look, it's Dr. McQueely sitting at the bus stop. She's waiting for a trolley bus. Here it comes. Oh, this is not the right trolley bus. It's for a different route. Wow, a truck carrying a huge house. This truck is very strong. He's so tired that he hasn't seen the height restriction sign. Stop truck! Oh no, it's stuck! I must do something to help things, Dr. McQueely. Truck, you are too high with this cargo. You shouldn't have gone under this bridge. See, the sign says maximum height of three and a half meters. And you're probably higher. Shall we measure you? This is a retractable tape measure. It's similar to a tape measure, only it folds away itself. Now, let's measure the truck and see how much higher it is than the opening of the bridge. Oh, 
Let's put the measured tip to the uppermost point of the cargo and hold the retractor at ground level. Aha! Your height is 3 meters 60 centimeters. It's 10 centimeters more than the sign indicates. What can I do? How can I fix the difference? I have an idea. If I deflate the tires a bit, it worked. The truck is lower now and it passed under the bridge. Now I need to pump up the tyres again with this pump. You can go, but remember to look at the signs. Dr. McQueely and the winter truck. Look, it's a blue truck. It's carrying delicious lemonade. It needs to unload the crates here. load a new cargo. Hey little truck, your job isn't easy. You're doing great. Another stop? Let's unload the watermelons and pick up a load of building materials. Truck, you need to start driving more cautiously. Autumn is coming. It's the windy and rainy season. Look, little truck is not afraid of anything. As before, he continues to do his job. The planks are in place. Let's go. Wow, it's snowing. Winter has come. Little truck, it's time to go for a Christmas tree. Christmas is coming. And here is the tree. Oh, it looks like the little truck can't drive up the slippery road. He keeps sliding back down. Don't worry, little truck. Dr. McQueely will help you. And here is her garage. Dr. McQueely is very happy to see her new guest. Little truck, can you tell me what your problem is? Dr. McQueely understood immediately. Don't worry, little truck. You just need to change from summer tyres to winter ones. Then you won't slip. First take off the summer tyres. One. Two. Let's put them in storage until spring. Look! The treads on the summer tyres are small and the grooves shallow so the tyres can't grip on ice. And if you add spikes, you get winter tyres and they have deeper grooves too. Dr. McWheely will put the tyres like these on Little Truck. Ready. Now, let's pump up the tyres. Good work. 
As always, Dr. McQueely completed her job very quickly. Now the truck can go and get the Christmas tree. Goodbye, truck. There's so much snow outside, but now it's not a problem for the little truck. With the new tyres, it can climb any hill. And here is the tree. It's time to load it onto the truck and drive home to celebrate. Dr. McQueely and the SUV. Look at this unusual car. It has huge wheels. It's not driving on a road, but on mud and sand. It's known as an off-road vehicle, or SUV. Oh, so much mud! Aren't you scared at all, SUV? Wow, you've even got past there! But look, you are very dirty, little car. I think Dr. McWheely should wash you. Here we are. Dr. McQueely let the SUV in immediately. You're very dirty. I'll wash you straight away. First, let's wash away the mud. Now we need some foam. Like this, lots of white foam. What's next? Now we need to scrub the SUV with large brushes. They will remove all the dirt. The car is nice and clean now. All we need to do is dry it. Let's turn on the huge heater. Now the SUV looks like new. Say thank you to Dr. McQueely and hit the road. Happy journey, SUV! Well, the car may be clean, but the garage walls and floor are dirty now. How can Dr. McQueely work in a dirty garage? Let's start cleaning! Yes, like this. Now everything is fine. Now we can let customers in again. I wonder who will come to Dr. McQueely's garage next time. <laughs>